Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the various reasons for obeying God. And now that we've gone over all the best reasons for obeying God, it's time to tackle the worst, the reality of the afterlife. In our last couple of episodes, we talked about heaven and hell, proved that each exists, and that each is a possible destination for people after they die. We also asked another question, namely, what about the people in between? What happens to the people who haven't rejected God, but aren't quite ready for heaven either? The very fact that such people do exist is an obvious indication that something exists between these two states, either a state of existence, a place where they stay for a certain period of time, or a process to prepare them for heaven. Since God's goal is to take as many people to heaven as possible, his plan for all the people in that place or process would naturally be to prepare them for heaven. Now here again, we need to draw just a couple more conclusions. Premise 1. The people who aren't quite ready for heaven are perfected by God through some means before they get there. Premise 2. God does not perfect anyone against their will. Premise 3. All of the people who didn't end up in hell chose to go along with God's plan. Conclusion. Therefore, the process which God uses on these people goes along with their will. This, in turn, proves that the people involved in this process are still able to have a will. Therefore, they are conscious of at least some of their surroundings. Therefore, they are in some place. Final conclusion. There is a third place between heaven and hell in which God prepares those who want to do his will, but who aren't yet perfected. This place is referred to in Catholic theology as purgatory. Purgatory is good news for everyone because it means that even people who haven't achieved perfection in this life, like me, still have a shot at making it to heaven as long as we don't reject God or his plan for us. It involves a process which takes a certain amount of time, so it's not an eternal destination like heaven or hell, but personally I'm glad there's a place like that. I have a feeling I'll need it. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.